Uh, hi everyone and welcome back. Now let's talk about uh, more about the types which TypeScript is providing. So we have already seen the TypeScript options uh, which we are having is a source map, declarations, module resolution, the target and these are special uh, attributes we are having no unused local means uh, if, you're, if you're declaring some variable uh, and not using it all in your file then a TypeScript will give you the warning right it's a true and false if you make it false means it is you are allowing it but if you are making it as a true then means you are forcing TypeScript to check all those scenarios where you are declaring a variable but not using it then you will get an error in that case same uh, no unused parameters no implicit this no implicit any okay so we can have just a package.json where we have the TypeScript which can be 3.0 or 2.6 and just run tsc compiler tsc index.ts and index.js so index.ts will be compiled to index.js so we'll start uh, writing the typescript code here is this is the example of uh, interface interface greeting settings which is having three uh, parameters you can say greetings is of type string duration and color you are seeing that there is a question mark here question mark means in this interface, we have a three uh, parameters, greetings, duration, and color. Duration and color are optional. So even if you are implementing this interface uh, or creating the subtype from this interface, then greeting is must, but duration and color are optional. Okay. And uh, we, we always declare something like this. So here I'm passing settings. Settings may be a object which I'm passing while calling to this function. And I'm passing the greeting settings. So in that settings object, there is a must that I should provide the greetings uh, parameter. These two are optional, duration and color. Okay, so let's talk about the compile options. We uh, These are must have options, which because you wanted to make your application rock strong. So no unused block else true means uh, if there are unused variables uh, and defined without any definition, then obviously you need to throw an error no implicit any, no implicit this, no implicit returns. So your function must return something. Okay, strict null checks means uh, if you are declaring a variable, you cannot directly set it to null. You need to use either it will be null or either it will be of type string. So TypeScript at runtime will not throw an error on this case. These are the base compiler options, which is declaration, module, resolution, target, and library, which we are using. So these are defined here with the explanation that it will create a source map file. Uh, the module resolution can be a common JS, AMD, UMD target will mostly will be ES5 only. This is how the TypeScript compiler is working. TypeScript compiler is looking at .ts files. We can configure it in our own way. Uh, it will look at the TypeScript compiler options in TS config and will give you the ES5 as an output. Okay. These are the TypeScript uh, primitives uh, we have or javascript primitives first we will talk about javascript one which are string number undefined null object uh, boolean symbol these are well known javascript primitive types right symbol is new which is added in es6 other than that we have object null and undefined are also of primitive type okay and null not equal to undefined null type of null is an object type of undefined is an undefined so we have all these primitives okay uh, other than that, we I like we're creating array, which is a nothing but an object. We are creating functions and creating the object. So the mostly these are the only types we are calling functions, uh, object, boolean, symbol, null, undefined number, string. Okay. So like uh, if you if I wanted to create an array with a mix of uh, strings and number, right? And I wanted to put a safety there also. So consider this is an array. Line one. I'm free. I can do that. But here I wanted to put a restriction that first should be a number, second should be a string, third should be a string, then you need to use a TypeScript for it. And in TypeScript, we are using tuple. Tuple is a concept of TypeScript and this is how we are declaring the variable. So if you are setting this definition, means you have to follow it, otherwise there will be an error, right? So similarly, like functions uh, should always return something. If function is not returning anything, just put a void. So TypeScript will take care that this function should not return anything. Okay. So other than that is like array. There is a type any also. If you don't know, if you're not sure about the type, then you can put any. But putting any too much is giving a freedom. 
if you are putting if you are using any keyword everywhere then you are not using typescript in the proper way right so but any is in the extreme case we don't know the type then we can just put the array of type any means uh, this array can be anything of string array can be of number array can be of boolean array right so not sure if you're not sure then you can put the any okay so this is typescript playground if you just google out the typescript and then you will see this typescript playground which is giving you the quick comparison about whatever the typescript code you are writing how the typescript code will look like in es5 okay this is how it will look like so from now we will start writing the code snippet of the typescript how the typescript is the interface classes the generics and uh, the intersection of the interfaces intersection of the types object uh, small object object literals okay enums void never all these things uh, we will talk about in 3.0 also there are some new things came came in so we'll talk all about that 